this is the final product that of the work that we are going to cover in this video as you can see here we have latitude longitude and altitude or elevation data so quick note before we proceed if you are new in this channel and you are interested in content related to gis related to water supply or irrigation please like this video subscribe turn on notification so as to be the first person to be notified when as soon as i release a new video content so let's get straight to today's video and as you can see here i have a very small city uh, town here and my intention or what i want is to get uh, elevation points or coordinates with elevation points along this road here what we, what we need to do is to go to this icon here as you can see the, this this here just click it and you can even give it a name let's say digitized uh, digitized digitized road let's say digitized road digitized um, let's just call it the main road you know main road just give it a name that you prefer so after that i will change the color so by default here it will, be, it, it will be white so for me i prefer purple i'll just keep it purple and the line width by default here is one i'll just keep it let's say 2.5 and the other thing actually here yeah just make sure that it is uh, clamped to the ground and the next thing here so we'll start uh, doing the work so we'll, we'll start the digitization work so my first point here is this so i can st so this is our first point just doing digitization here okay just like that okay let me do it quickly let me do it quickly do it quickly quickly yep 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 so that is the end so from here i'll just click okay so as i can save it click okay the next step is to export this uh, this uh, digitized road and save it as KML. So from here, I'll just click uh, save as. Um, I just prefer to go with digitized road. Let's say digitized road too. Just you can just name it the way you prefer. So for me, just I prefer KML and the name digitized road too. File location downloads. Then click save. So um, until now, my digitized uh, main road file is saved in my hard disk. The next step now is to extract our coordinates. You can just go to Google and click GPS visualizer. Okay, let me close this. GPS, GPS visualizer and click enter. Just search GPS visualizer. Click enter, you are done. It will take you to this page now from here i just press convert a file okay so this is where the trick is in most cases or in, or many videos how they teach is that you need to export it as gpx okay now for me i'll just export as plain text if you don't have gpx please just use plain text uh -huh. now my file location now choose a file choose a file here so my file i named i, I named it as a main road i remember it was main road uh, this one main road digitize main road to just click ok another tip here is that if you have multiple files and you want to digitize them at once you can just upload them here okay so for me i just have one so i just choose the single file that i have remember if you don't have gpx please select this plain text but if you have gpx use gpx but for me i think this one is the simplest way the next important step now from here first before we even move further if you click convert if you click convert here you can see something here uh, yeah you can see something okay so i click convert but we don't have altitude coordinates here we don't have altitude coordinates 
what we have is only latitude and longitude but no altitude so let me go back here let me go back and show you something return to convert now what we need to do if we are, if we if at all we need to have the elevation data is to go just open the file and go here now add them elevation digital elevation model elevation data so from here depend on your location depend on your location but i think the best way is to choose the best uh, available source or if you're located in northern america then select this of course this one is a little bit accurate and alaska just select this but if you are located anywhere out, out of these areas here just select best available source so for me i select best available source output units matrix so just leave the the other settings the way they are from here then click convert now here is our elevation latitude longitude and the elevation or altitude so from here what we we need to do is to download this file just click download yeah just click download from there show in file locks just this one and the name we, uh, text just give it a uh, whatever name that you prefer i just prefer that one so from that what next now is to take data from text format and import them into excel so as i can proceed with other uh, operation then just open your excel sheet so for me this one is opened already then from here go to data and get data from external source then from text remember we saved our data in uh in text format so where was the yeah i think this is this text name then click import uh, so next next finish and click ok we are done remember we didn't even use uh, gpx but here is our altitude data we have them here already okay so it is as simple as that just simple and clear like that okay yeah just clean your data here now we have latitude and longitude and altitude here so that is the end of tutorial but remember if you want to convert this latitude and longitude into utm i have a very detailed video on how to work around that just click the link in the down the description below to watch that video thanks and i'll see you in the next video